I said, Michael, won't you answer me? Listen, look, I knew what I was getting into. I, I want to give you more I time. I think I may turn in. Two one nine two two. It's Tish. Where are you? That is flat. Is everything all right? No. Why? What's happened? He's sleeping off an almighty binge. Look, I think it would. Darling, don't tell me anything you're not supposed to. <laughs> are you psychic or something? It's her, is it? Yes. Is she there? Very definitely not here. I see. Look, um, I've got to fly to Paris today to meet. Well, to try for a job, actually. But I couldn't really... Is, uh, is your father in control of things? What does that mean? No idea. She's left him, has she? I think she has. Well, thank you for ringing, darling. And good luck in Paris. Well, will you give him a call? Well, should I? He's a grown man. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. He's what? Good luck in Paris. Yeah, OK. Bye. Bye. Shouldn't you be working? Yes. This is fun. It must be very grand to have your own chapel. Is it deconsecrated? I don't know. Don't you have to read a service a year or something? You lived with someone, didn't you? Tish told you. She told me yes. Well, there we are then. Does it matter to you? Does what matter? Well, the word is gay, I suppose. Well, should it matter? Anyway, are you gay? I don't know. I believe you. said the wrong thing, haven't I? Imagine 20 years on, Dibs. My father will have accomplished everything he set out to do. Perhaps, perhaps he'll have come a cropper. But say it all works out. The house, the future of the land, everything. There'll just be one small problem. Me. I'm the wrong person to talk to about it. You're the only person I've found that I can talk to about it. Tish in London. Did you? You don't fancy making a cider cup, do you? Such a lovely day. Yeah. Your father's very rich. Mm, he's not half as rich as he was. It's our first anniversary. We must have spent a million already. Not a lot to show for it. It's chasing moonbeams. Our distinguished forebears. Now, they really were rich. The East India Company, sugar in the West Indies. The ruling class, in fact. And the house gathered furniture, and pictures, books, all without effort, almost carelessly. You perhaps had to be rich then to really know England. And now? Do you know it? Of course not. Doesn't that frighten you? No. No, not just at this moment. I mean, not here in the fields, away from everything. It doesn't frighten me at all. It doesn't frighten you, does it? Sometimes, yes. And your eyes aren't open. Perhaps your eyes aren't open. 
What does that mean? She likes you, Jamie. We've only just met. Well, that's part of it, too. <laughs> Sorry, mustn't tease. She's very nice. She's got beautiful manners. I've asked her mother to stay for our concert. Yes? Oh, hello. Uh, no, he's on the estate somewhere. Shall I ask him to ring you? I see. Not at all. To your father. It isn't so much the festival as, as the chance to play in the parish church, because the organ was built by the youngest of the Harrises, which makes... Makes it very famous. Harris? Renata's Harris. Did Harris compose for the organ? Oh, no, no. He was a builder, you know. No, I don't. I don't know at all. How could I? Can you not say what you want, Dibs, without, as it were, always hiding under chairs or peeping out from between your fingers? My father is an expert on good manners, Dibs. Why don't we have coffee in the hall? It's cooler. She's 23. Can you make allowance for that? Did you spirit me away to say that, to tell me how old she is? To tell you that she's a guest in our house, your house and mine. I like her. That's feelings, you understand. My feelings. Mummy likes her, that's her feelings. Everything doesn't just revolve around you and what you think and what you want to happen. Because there are other people in this house. Our house. I've gone to the office for a minute. Cheer up. It's me, isn't it? What do you think they'd run away to hide from you? No, dears. You're fine. Living sculpture. I trust you enjoyed your beans, Gordon. Very funny, Albert. <laughs> Afternoon. Twenty pence. Yeah, twenty. Thank you. Parking up on your right. Thank you. Acoustics all right, Mr. Blackwell? Perfect, Lady Incham. That's it. Come on out. Good, good, good. That's stuff. Right. I'm torn, Michael. I'd so like to go up in that thing. Donatip's not insured with senior crossbench peers. Will we ever see you there? Yes, of course. In time. You mean that, don't you? In time, Bill. It's good to have you here, you know. I've been looking forward to it. I spoke a few words to the girl, Dibbs. What a pleasant creature. She is. Contented sighs all round. I reserved you a seat in the front row for the concert. Sure you don't want to come up with me? Check that band if you like and dump it over the side somewhere. You got a point there, Squire? They're great, don't you think? You're talking to a South Yorkshire cornet player. <laughs> Join in. How about you, sweetheart? Want to ride? Fantastic. Really? Perfect ballast. Beautifully distributed. <laughs> Dibs. Good girl. Let 
That's the girl. Here you come. Have a good. Good. Indeed. It is fun. Happy anniversary. You too. You're going to let me say how sorry I am about Dina. Really sorry. I imagine you realize that I knew. Don't let's spoil a perfect day. I know all about Mozart. I borrowed the book from the library. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good loser, Barbara. Just be grateful that you and is out of the country, that's all. This all, uh, this all works, doesn't it? It does. It works very well. Mm. Listen, do you know what you're thinking? I'm sorry Chivers isn't here. Hmm? To witness. It could be like this, often. It could. It must, perhaps. Yes, it must. Makes up for a great deal else, don't you think? Six of Chelworth will be at the later time of 9.30 next Sunday.